In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a mix and match product within WooCommerce in just a few simple steps. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. So if you want to create a mix and match product like this, so here's one I created earlier. I've created a donut box mix and match. So the user can basically pick and choose the donuts in which they want for their box. And then they can remove an item as well. Here we've got this um, progress bar showing them how much they should be adding to their cart as well. We can see the grand total. Currently I've set this mix and match product as a fixed price. You can set it per item as well. So let's go ahead and fill this out. We can add a custom message. So this option is optional as well. I've enabled this option on the back end. And then the user can basically just go ahead and add their mix and match product to cart. So if you want to create a similar setup in your WooCommerce store, the first step is to head over to WooSuite.com. Go ahead and download and install the mix and match product by WooSuite. Once you've done so, let's head back over to our WordPress dashboard. Okay, so here we are in our WordPress dashboard. So in your case, assuming you've downloaded the mix and match plugin by WooSuite, Go ahead and navigate to plugins, add new, go ahead and install the plugin. So once you've done so, the second step is to create our products within WooCommerce that we want to add to our mix and match product bundle. So if you've got an existing store with products in which you want to use to create your mix and match product out of, then you want to go ahead and skip this step. But assuming you haven't, so you just want to go um, products and then you just click add new product. So I'm going to click all products now, actually, just to show you how we've set up our products instead of recreating it all. OK, so here's a few products which are created. So these are all our different um, donuts in which we're going to include in our donut box. So let me go ahead and just open one of these products. OK, so we're entering our product name. Go ahead and add our product image and then we'll add our product category as well. So in my case, I've added this in the donut category because it's appropriate. Go ahead and add your price. Um, you can add short description and um, the description here as well. This is optional. And then once you finish, just go ahead and publish this product and then repeat this step for all the products in which you're gonna add it to your bundle. Okay, so let's head back to our main products page here. So here you can see I've added five different donuts um, and then I've added them within this um, donut category. So this is important. So um, to speed up the process of creating your bundle, you want to either add it in a particular category or give it a particular tag. Okay, so once you've added all the products in which you want to include in your mix and match product bundle, then the third step is to go ahead and actually create our mix and match products. So we'll just go um, products, add new. Okay, so again, I've already created this. So I'm gonna just navigate over to the product in which I've created. Okay, so it's, it's just like a standard WooCommerce product. So you go ahead and give your product a name. In my case, I've named this build your own donut box. Add some description and go ahead and add your product image. You can give this a category as well. But the key bit is where it says product data here. So by default, we've got the simple group, external and variable product. But in this case, you want to select the mix and match product. And that's created by the plugin in which you just downloaded. And then once you've selected mix and match here, then you'll see this option to the left, which says mix and match product. So again, where it says applies to is we can choose product and we can individually um, add the product to this bundle or we can choose product category and then add all the products from that particular product category the same again for product tag here i've selected a product category and then underneath where it says select product category i've selected donut category so again this is why i said it's important to um, categorize and organize the products in which you want to include in your mix and match so this just makes it super easy instead so if you didn't categorize it and um, what you'll probably have to do is go ahead and select product. And then we'll have to individually add all the different products to our bundle just like this. So again, I'm just gonna X this off and then I'm just gonna reselect product category and I'll select the donuts category. A lot simpler. Um, price display. So here we've got two options. So we can charge, we can charge per item. So it'll basically be the individual um, price of the different products within our bundle and then we can give it a fixed discount so I'm just going to select um, fixed price here 
So we want to set a fixed price for our mix and match product box. And then here we can increase the price, let's say $45, right, per box. Okay, and then we can ignore this fixed price discount here because it applies to um, per item when we choose this per item price here. And then here we'll select the minimum quantity. So the minimum amount that a user has to select in my particular case is six. You can leave it blank if you want, meaning they can choose um, up to six, right? Because we've got a maximum quantity here set to six. And then we've got the option as well to display the custom message, which we can see um, here this gift message here. So I'm going to go ahead and set this back to six because we want to set a minimum amount that a user has to add to the mix and match bundle box. So we'll just go ahead and hit in your case, it will be publish. I'm just going to hit update because I've changed the price. Okay. And now when we refresh this page, our mix and match box should be $45, I believe. Okay. So now let's add a few products to our mix and match box. Okay, and there you can see the grand totals of $45. Now we can add some custom messaging as well here and then just add it to cart. And that's how you create a mix and match product box within WooCommerce in just a few simple steps. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. If you've got any questions, leave it in the comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.